What's going on guys? The Doctor Show here bringing you all the updated actual steps for the Red Fire Wrath of the Giants bow. So without hesitation, let's get straight into it. Assuming you have the Wrath of the Giants bow already, by feeding the three dragon heads, we can head to the first step. First, fire an arrow at the red circle symbol at the top of the clock tower, which then smashes the wall and drops a broken arrow. Pick this up and head straight down to the rocket. You must wait till the rocket begins testing. Wait in the hangar area where the teleporter resides until the doors are open when the rocket has finished testing. As quickly as possible, run to the right and you will see a yellow stone circle on the roof. Shoot the yellow stone before it loses its colour. If done correctly, the yellow light will shoot up to the castle and will become a large sun above the bastion. Next, you must shoot three faded ritual circles as shown in the video. The three locations are the drive near the double tap, on the roof entrance of the clock tower, and directly under the sun. Each one must be shot with the bow when flying over using the wand spheres. They will look lit up like a target when you're flying over. This step can be very arduous and may require a lot of points, so be prepared. Once they are all shot, they will be permanently lit up. Next, get kills while standing on each of these ritual circles. You will know when you get enough kills when a thick tentacle of red light connects the circle to the sun. Once each circle has been completed, run back to the top of the clock tower and press square. Cogs will begin to spin and a symbol will reveal itself at the top. There are only three sets of symbols and each correspond to a fireplace around the map. The three fireplaces are one in the room opposite Samantha's room, second in the small corner room with the one fizz in the lower courtyard and the third is in the mission control under the dragon head. Once you find the fireplace which corresponds with your symbol, you will notice one ritual circle is lit up. This step is the critical step that differentiates the original guides that did not work to the one that does. You must work your way from the lit up ritual circle to the fireplace using your bow. By shooting an arrow onto the circle, a set of mini volcanoes appear. You must then fire your bow when standing near the volcano towards a flat patch of ground which will create another mini volcano. From there you can only do this one more time and on the fourth arrow it must be fired into your specific fireplace. When the arrow hits the back of the fireplace it breathes flames which drops a cloud of fire. Pick it up and head back to the sun on the bastion. You must then simply get a zombie kill under the sun and press square on the sun which should be very low to the ground. Once complete the sun will drop a reforged arrow which can then be taken down to the pyramid, place it onto the firebox and get approximately 20 kills. You will know when it's ready when you stop seeing souls flying around. Place the bow with the arrow by pressing square and after a few seconds the upgraded fire bow will appear. This bow is one of the better of the four and when fully pulled back creates a rock effect that traps zombies in their place and disintegrates them. This is the last bow to be fully upgraded which is awesome and allows everyone to start making some progress on the actual steps of the easter egg. We'll stay on the grind guys and try and cover these steps and hopefully get you guys content as soon as possible. Hope this video was informative and helpful and if so touch that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers guys.